What do Dave Matthews, Angelina Jolie, Mario Batali, Sting, and Wayne Gretzky have in common? They're all winemakers. And with so many celebrities in the grape game, we wondered which ones are actually worth a sip. So lifestyle reporter Brandon Malloy is here to break it down. That's right, Becca. You know, it seems like the hot new trend is for celebrities to buy their own vineyards and wineries. David and Victoria Beckham, Johnny Depp, and Madonna also have their own wines. In fact, Madonna's father was actually a winemaker himself. All right, so lots of VIP vino mm -hmm. out there. Which ones are we tasting? All right, so the first one I have for you today is Drew Barrymore's Pinot Grigio. Look mm. how beautiful that is. Take a little sip. You know, this was actually created in honor of her family, and she partnered with Decordi, a large winery in Lombardy, Italy. Mmm, it's really like fun, girly, light, kind of like Drew herself. Okay, now what do we have next? All right, so this one is called Ferguson Crest. Okay, so can Ferguson, you guess? Fergie. This is the leading lady from Black Eyed Peas. Exactly. Actually a father-daughter duo and the family-run boutique wineries in Solvang. They're dedicated to organic, sustainable practices. And this one you're trying is their red blend. What's included in a red blend? Well, pretty much everything. There's Cabernet Sauvignon, there's Syrah, Grenache, and Merlot all mixed together. So it's really a lot of body. It has some notes mm -hmm. of spice and pepper. It's definitely stronger, maybe a little Fergalicious. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot happening here. That's actually what it's called, Fergalicious. <laughs> All right, this next one, how gorgeous is this? I know you've been wanting this, this one. This looks like an A-list bottle. Well, this is definitely the Brangelina of all wines. It comes from Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. And let me just give you a pour. This one comes from the 1,000 acre estate in south of France. And they actually have had the assistance of one of France's amazing winemakers, Marc Perrin, and guidance from Francis Ford Coppola. And when the couple's first vintage hit the shelves last year, it sold out in just five hours. Plus, it also landed a spot on the Wine Spectator's top 100 wine list. What do you think? All right, let's try it I'm out. Gonna try. Mm. Yep, it's that so is so good. <laughs> delicious. Mr. and Mrs. Smith did it right. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Brandy. Thanks, Becca. Thanks for watching. Matthew, Allie, and I are back tomorrow with more Pop Sugar Now. I'm Becca Frucht with Brandy Malloy. We'll see you then.